Hello, Roxy here. So I just purchased this Karen D'Ash 30 Neo Color 1 water resistant wax pastels. And I'm just so excited because I have the Neo Color 2, which are basically like water soluble. These are different. And I just want to compare the two just for a quick comparison. Here are my Karen D'Ash Neo Color 2 water soluble. And I purchased the 10 piece set and then I got some extras um, from, I think it was Jackson's. Anyways, I'm going to try to compare just some colors that are similar in the set. On the left side, I will be using the Carmine Neo Color 2, the water soluble. And it just goes down so smoothly and softly. But I'm going to put down another layer and just press down a little harder. Okay, it doesn't smudge, but it does feel a little waxy, but not much. Now here is the Neo Color One, the wax pastel, and wow, it oh, it feels it feels a little different. It feels more solid, a little harder, but it's so opaque and it's just so smooth like butter. I I really like it. In all honesty, they just really feel very similar. I mean, they're almost exactly the same. I would just say again, the Neo Color 2 feels just a little bit softer, but they're very opaque. And I also wanted to mention that the reason why I purchased the Neo Color 1 was because I wanted to use it like a pastel and I didn't want to use the Neo Color 2 as just a pastel because I wanted to use that more like a watercolor. Um, so I didn't want to waste the pigment on the Neo Color 2. So that's why I got the Neo Color 1. So I could just go crazy using it as a wax pastel. Okay, so now I'm going to test out the white um, pastel crayon. So let's try the Neo Color 1 on the right side. And let's go ahead and draw over the solid color. Now, this is a lot of layers of blue that I put on that circle. And it's it's opaque. I mean, it's not pure white, but it's opaque. Let's do the same thing on the left side. And wow, it's not as opaque for some reason. Maybe this Neo Color 2 crayon is better for blending. Neo Color 1. I'm going to blend this blue. And it's blending out nicely, has a real nice feel to it. Again, it's a little bit of a harder pastel than the Neo Color 2, but it, it looks pretty good. Now let's try the Neo Color 2. Hmm, this feels a lot softer, um, you know, more like an oil pastel, although it's, it's not really oily, um, but it just has this more of a blendable feel. Either way, I think both of them are good. I just think this one's obvious a little softer. I used a black Sharpie to lay down a couple of dark circles. I let that dry. And I want to try these white uh, pastels again. So the Neo Color 1 Wax Crayon. Okay, that looks pretty opaque. It's nice. Now let's try the Neo Color 2, which is a soluble, water-soluble crayon uh, pastel. And... Um, Okay, it's pretty solid white as well. But I would say that it's not as opaque as the Neo Color 1 on the right side. Now let's try some more blending. I am going to uh, blend yellow and red together and create an orange. There it is, there is an orange. So the blending technique is pretty good with the Neo Color One. So I decided to just create a quick little drawing with the Neo Color One wax pastels. And um, I just wanted you to look at the process. I uh, apologize for the video not being as clear, but I just really wanted you to get a close up of what I was doing. So I just started using the Carmine and I just started creating some details. Then I brought in the pink, 
uh, the pink pastel, wax pastel, and I started blending out the edges and adding some lighter values on the inside of the lips to make it a little more uh, three-dimensional. Then I brought back the carmine to create some more details to help that. And then I decided to use the white. Now I wasn't creating any highlights with the white, but one thing I noticed that the white was really good at blending everything out and making it even smoother. And so I just wanted to show you that process. It was fun. Last but not least, I wanted to show you those two dark black circles I created and how the Neo Color one on the right side was much more opaque against that black dot. Well, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Again, I just got the Neo Color one today.